know, right? Yeah. Jim Misfits, we're back. Cut it. Take off. Jim Misfits, we're back. Here with a quick Q&A video. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out our Instagram, the link below, Jim Misfits 17 Check it out. All right, what inspired y'all to start weightlifting? You want to take that or you want me to take that? I mean, I guess I'll go first. <laughs> All right, I'll go first. Uh, so I started off with um, football, for sure. Football definitely started off my Same inspiration. For me. Yeah. Same for me. And then after that, it transformed into more of a bodybuilding type of lifting, and, and that was more inspired just off of pure, like, I don't know, wanting to better myself, and then also, like, uh, a physical image. Similar answer um, for me, it was. I played soccer my whole life, and then I moved to Texas, where, is that bad? <laughs> I just football's religion, that, man. man. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Texas, uh, obviously football's huge in Texas, right. and so I started weightlifting there, and uh, eventually my mom got remarried, and um, she remarried a powerlifter, so I started training with him and really fell in love with it, and here I am. What are the top three most underrated workouts in the gym? Okay, Man. these are a couple things we can probably agree on. Yeah. yeah, I think for sure hip thrusts are way underrated. I think a lot of like the female crowd definitely does them, but I think that the, the male crowd definitely neglects them. They're yeah. super important and they help with so many lifts. Yeah, and I would go ahead and say uh, chest dips or just dips in general. Great for your chest, triceps, deltoids. Um, They've helped a lot with my chest growth. Um, bench obviously does as well, but I think dips have been better for me. Yeah. And I think thirdly, I don't know if you agree with me on this one, but barbell rows. I mean, I see quite a few people doing them, but a lot more people go straight yeah. to the machines. Yep. And I think that the free weight part and the more control and stability of the barbell rows help a lot. Yeah. They, they think they get neglected quite a bit too. There's a time and a place for the machines, I think. And then barbell rows, it's like, especially if you're a newbie, just get your form right, start out light, move your way up, do some barbell rows, they kick ass. I agree. What's y'all's biggest fear? Yeah. I definitely think it's probably like a fear of failure or almost being like forgotten. Yeah, the world's most common fear is uh, being forgotten, and I definitely agree with you on that one. Yeah. Um, other than roller coasters, I'm terrified. Oh, dude. Yeah. I didn't I think I was going to admit it, man. But, but I'm you doing admitted it. it, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love roller coasters. We don't agree on that. No, yeah. with so much fun. But we're going to be working on uh, facing our fears here in the future, so. Right. Hopefully that's yeah. something I can uh, I can do. Yeah, maybe I can find something that's a little maybe <laughs> a little more challenging, get like a know. physical like a physical fear I can try to overcome or something like yeah. that. Like, yeah. So if you take Zach to a roller coaster park, just take him on the merry-go-round. and That's it, right? The teacups. Here comes the trash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do love the teacups though. <laughs> although although I get dizzy. <laughs> Who would you most like to have a meal and conversation with that has passed? Definitely uh, Customato, that was Mike Tyson's trainer. Watch the documentary, guys, it's on Netflix, it's awesome. And I just think he was a, uh, a great human being and an awesome trainer. I'd love to pick his brain. And uh, also, I would say Chester Bennington. Oh, we get two? Sorry, I broke the rules. So, well, that can, I can if you want I mean, to, I mean, I thought I wanted to take two. No, 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 I got, okay. I mean, I feel like I could pick a second one for sure. Just yeah. pick one. No, you I don't just, have to. No, I, 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 I rest in peace, one. Chester, by the way. <laughs> yeah. R.I.P. Right, I'll stick with one. R.I.P. Right, and I would definitely have to pick. we we'll pull one off my homies. Yeah, <laughs> but, I would, uh, but this is my rug, so. Yeah, I would definitely pick uh, Rich Biana, just because he's such a big name in the industry of weightlifting and has so much just underlying knowledge of everything and, um, you know, he's just a smart dude and he passed away way too young. What's your pre-workout ritual? I think ours are pretty different here. Yeah. Even though we even though we train together. Um, my pre-workout ritual would definitely be to wake up, hang out for I'd say an hour to two hours. Um, sometimes I'll get a meal in, but usually I've been doing intermittent fasting, so I usually don't eat before I lift. 
Um, like I said, I'll hang out and then eventually I'll pop my uh, pre-workout and I'm good to go. It kind of just depends. Like if I have work, um, then I usually will work out afterwards and I'll eat that. I'll be eating all day, you know, and then I usually just take my pre-workout, wait, you know, 30 minutes, wait for everything to settle in and then I go live. Mm -hmm. But if it's like he said, like I, I like to get up, I like to work out on like an empty stomach if I can. Um, get up, wait a while. Yeah. Uh, just get my body <coughs> flowing, drink some water, and take my pre-workout right. and go. Not only that, but I I personally prefer to work out closer to first thing in the morning. Yeah. But I mean, and that's because everyone's got their own way, and that's fine. Is it because? Okay, so well, off topic a little bit, but is it because like there's been studies that show like your testosterone levels are higher? That's a small reason, but it just it gets my day started. Like I like to do that before. You know, like I uh, yeah. run my errands so before I go to work. Yeah, it just, just starts your day. Exactly. Like, yeah. Gotta go to the gym. I think your pre-workout routine is just to do the, the lap fly dance. Oh yeah. Well, I do a little clip of that video right here. Yeah, I don't and, know if they'll uh, remember that, but I'm sure he'll uh, let yeah. me live up to it. <laughs> what is your best body part in terms of weightlifting? For me, personally, I would say uh, my deltoids. My deltoids, possibly uh, triceps. Yeah. Or hamstrings. One of those three. I've been working... I know it's pretty... Show, show them off, bro. Show them off. No, I've been working so I hard... I can't really show my hammies or my delts or my... I don't know, man. Uh, I don't have pump right now. I can't flex. Anyways, no, but... <laughs> I've been working so hard to make all my muscles, like, kind of... Similar, you know what I mean? That well, yeah, you like want hard you to... want to be proportionate, which is hard because, like, it's... naturally, like, I think everyone has this problem to where you lift and you're lifting for a certain way, and sometimes other parts of your body will grow faster. So, for me personally, I work my weak points, what I think are like the smallest and the weakest, I work them out more often. So, you'll see me training my weak points more. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that my triceps are pretty bomb. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it at that. What's y'all's favorite dirty bulking meal? Bro, easy, easy. A nice juicy cheeseburger and a chocolate milkshake. Just greasy. Or just a milkshake in general. Just greasy <laughs> burger, probably double meat, triple patty oh, maybe. Dude, Lots what? of cheese, oh, but I'm oh. going strawberry. I'm going strawberry Bro, milkshake, what's, dip my fries in. Okay, we, we might have to cut this out because I can't remember. It might waste time, I'm not sure. The place that we went to in California on the strip of, at the car show. What is that fucking place, dude? They oh, had, they had the, um, what was it, Cheat Day Burger. Yeah, it was dude, called it's the literally Cheat called the Cheat Day Burger. I can't like remember a, what. They had a burger called the Cheat Day Burger and it had like avocado and an egg on it. Exactly. It was, oh, it was huge, but it was so good. If I could pick any burger to have on a cheat day, it would be that. What's the muscle you can improve on on the most? I'd say um, I'd really like to improve on my lats, on my chest, and um, maybe biceps even. That was actually, that's still a weak point of mine. I think that even though in football they did train you for like all that power, like the power from like yeah. squats and stuff, I feel like no matter what, like I always can improve on my like lower body, like my legs, because it's such yeah. a fundamental. Part. Well, especially once you get out of like that, like. What's y'all's favorite workout day? Back for me, definitely back. Um, deadlifts included. You know, I I always have to rep. You know, international chest day. Okay. Okay. All right. I see you. All right. Last question. What advice would you give your teenage self in terms of weightlifting? You got it. Right. I got it. You got it. Rock, rock, scissors. Rock, scissors. Okay. One, right. two, three, shoot, okay? All right. Ready? One, One two, two, three, shoot. Boom! So you go first. All right, go first. The stereotypical answer, number one, would be don't skip leg day. And my second one would probably be like, get your diet on track and make sure that you're staying consistent with your workouts and just don't, don't break for anything and just keep pushing yourself. I'd say stay consistent no matter what. Even if you're not feeling super strong, go in the gym no matter what. Go in. Um, I'd say, man, I feel like I'm copying you, but don't oh, skip I leg day. Know. Well, you can say the diet. <laughs> did I did, yeah, I so said keep it consistent. Dude, it doesn't matter. Did you, did you, okay, Honestly, anyway. it's the same. It's um, do not skip leg day. And actually, this is my biggest advice. I would say um, 
pull twice as much as you are doing pushes, like push movements, pulls, you know, rows, lat pull down, stuff like that. Second legs. Versus pushing. I'd say do twice as many pulls as you are pushing. That's it for us today, guys. Um, we'll be back with a new video soon. Again, like and subscribe. Check out our Instagram below. If you have any more questions, just comment. Yeah. Anything. Comment below. Send us any questions that y'all have. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever. Just yeah. let us know, guys. And if there's enough we of them. We want to hear from you. Right. And if there's enough of them, we'll end up making another Q&A video off of, based off y'all's questions. And then definitely it'll be good. So love you guys. We're out. I rubbed the f*** out of my eye after I said that. Yeah. I I love you guys. We're out. <laughs>